What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Crystal Palace match review and the post-match analysis show. I'm really sorry that this video is so late, I'm, a, I'm away from home, I'm actually in a brush of in Romania where my my father is from and I'm staying at my uncle's house at the moment and we have no internet access here so I couldn't watch the game really I just caught up on the highlights so I wanted to bring you this video and also many more videos later this week but bear with me until I can figure out where I can upload my videos I will probably search for a restaurant or a cafe where it has uh, internet access so at the moment you know uh, I can't really uh, make a, a lot of videos, uh, but I will try my best to upload as much as possible while I'm here. So let's uh, let's give uh, my opinion on the game, and also I want to hear your opinion for you guys, especially who watched the game in full. Give me your opinion. What did you think of the game, and who impressed you the most? Watching the highlights, the most impressed I was with Andrew Robertson. First of all. Liverpool went with a much changed lineup. Joe Gomez started, which was really good to see. Robertson made his full Liverpool debut after not being even in the squad in the first two uh, games of the season. And Robertson's left foot is something else. I've been crying out for a left back who can whip in bowls like Andrew Robertson because uh, he's so so much better at crossing with his left foot jumps than James Milner and James Milner actually started in midfield in this game with Wijnaldum as well as uh, as Jordan Henderson uh, just looking at the lineup so it was a very very interesting uh, setup by Jurgen Klopp and also uh, so Starry started with Firmino and Mane on either side and they were basically rotating Sturridge already Sturridge already likes playing like a fluid uh, number nine where he pops up in many different areas and Firmino the same but I think my man of the match was Mane he was everywhere and Sadio Mane is such a brilliant player we have to keep him fit when last season when he was out for the Africa Cup of Nations uh, he was uh, you know badly badly missed by Liverpool and when he got injured against Everton I was really really fearful that we didn't wouldn't make the Champions League places in the end we only just made it but with money I think it would have been a lot more easier so Crystal Palace parked the bus basically throughout the whole game but they still had a couple of really really big chances but I think the best player from Crystal Palace was that goalkeeper Wayne Hennessy. How did Liverpool not win this game 2 0, 3 0, 4 0? We created so, so many chances. We peppered the Crystal Palace goal all over and over and over and over again, and they blocked everything. Hennessy made brilliant saves from Mane, from Firmino. Uh, from other players from storage and the Dominic Solanke came on in the in the second half and he almost scored as well <clears throat> so it was a uh, you know all out attack by Liverpool but Liverpool had to be patient and at half time when Liverpool were frustrated by the Crystal Plus B defense and the Robertson actually revealed what Jurgen Klopp said to them at half time so they Jurgen Klopp said to keep keep playing keep playing like we played in the first half be patient work the openings and the goal will come and uh, Jurgen Klopp was right and Robertson said that that calmed down the Liverpool players who were pretty anxious that they couldn't score in the first half and it felt like the goal was uh, about to come but actually it was quite a lucky break for Liverpool because even though Liverpool fully deserved to win this game we needed a uh, a little bit of a luck to to score to score the opening goal because Mane started a, a one-two with a Liverpool player. He went, uh, he passed the ball inside to the Liverpool player. He went on a run, and the ball actually fell to a Crystal Palace player who miscontrols the ball a little bit. And I think Vinadum toe pokes it into the Crystal Palace player's leg, and the ball bounced straight into Mane's pass who was running through on goal and Mane very very quick and agile just uh, slices the ball into the bottom corner past Hennessy who came out but could do nothing because Mane was so so quick and uh, and then Mane ran towards Klopp to celebrate and the, the, you could see that the whole stadium erupted the whole uh, crowd and, the, and the, every single player was so so relieved because Crystal Palace defended really really well and this actually 
Crystal Palace in the, in the beginning of the second half they had one huge chance and remember that Crystal Palace won their last three games 2-1 at Anfield so this is a massive three points this is almost like bigger than beating one of the biggest teams in the Premier League because it's games like this Crystal Palace at home when we time and time again we slipped up in past few seasons so this is a massive massive victory for Liverpool make no mistake about it because uh, last season we had actually more problems against smaller teams than against the big sides in the Premier League. So I'm really, really delighted and relieved that Liverpool won the game at Crystal Palace. I was checking the score on a Sunday evening and I was so, so happy when I saw that... Uh, that Liverpool ran out one year winners. And Liverpool also had 72% possession and I was really impressed with Dominic Solanke who came on in the second half and he always uh, makes himself available to, to a pass and he, he has very, very good positional sense. He had uh, some really good runs and he had the chance where he probably takes a touch too far wide and that's why he couldn't really score he still hit the target and worked the goalkeeper but I was really impressed with Dominic Solanke so let me know what do you think about him I think he's an absolute bargain buy just like our Andrew Robertson who cost less than 10 million uh, Dominic Solanke probably will cost less than 5 million so let me know what do you think about him some other sides dropped points Arsenal lost at Stoke which is also a brilliant result for us Manchester United steamrolled Swansea 4 near they looked very good but of course West Ham and Swansea they are no world class team so it's very early to say who will definitely challenge for the title and also Chelsea won against the run of play against Tottenham who keep their Wembley hoodoo going Tottenham just can't win games at Wembley so far and they have to play the whole Premier League season at home uh, at Wembley so it will be very interesting how Tottenham cope with that and also Arsenal losing at Stoke is a huge huge shock but they have, they have been losing there in the last few seasons, so it looks like new season, same old problems for Arsenal as well. Man City will play tonight against Everton, that will be a very interesting game. So overall, Liverpool started the season very well, in my opinion, but for that 93rd minute or 94th minute equaliser against Watford, we would have started the, the season perfectly. And I still feel that Liverpool will sign a couple of players. We have to, Jurgen Klopp has to get some signings in, otherwise we will be very, very short for the season. And I think Jurgen Klopp knows this, Liverpool, the board, the directors, the, the owners know this. So we must be working on something behind the scenes. At the moment everything is very quiet, sorry I have a cold at the moment so that's, that was also one of the reasons why I couldn't really make uh, videos on the weekend and also I didn't know where to upload them so I will probably find a place today which has Wi-Fi so I will try to upload this video there as well so Liverpool overall played very very well against Crystal Palace we had 22 shots 11 on target Crystal Palace only had four shots one on target and they had the chance with Benteke at the beginning of the second half where they could have scored um, I think it was uh, Loftus-Cheek the Chelsea Loney who went past uh, Klavan on the right hand side he cuts inside to Benteke who blazes his shot over the bar when Mignolet was already beaten so if if Benteke hits the target there he probably scores and that is a huge huge let off because Benteke have been scoring at Anfield for the past few seasons as an opposition player he has this weird statistic that he scored more goals as, uh, as a as a player playing for the opposition of Liverpool, then he played, then he scored for Liverpool at Anfield, and he played a full season at Liverpool, probably a lot more games at Anfield. So, uh, then uh, as a home player, then uh, as an away player. So that's a very weird and interesting statistics for you guys. So at the moment, Liverpool, you know. Four points from two games in the Premier League is not too bad, but the next two games in the Premier League are huge tests. Liverpool play Arsenal at home and Man City away and also before the Arsenal game we play Hoffenheim at home and we just absolutely have to, we have to get through to the Champions League and I think this is why this is why Jurgen Klopp rested quite a few players. Uh, we didn't start Lovren, we didn't start Trent Alexander-Arnold, we didn't start Emre Can. We didn't sign Mohamed Salah, that's four players who will probably start 
against Hoffenheim at home uh, in the Champions League second leg so that is a game that I'm really really looking forward to let me know guys what did you think of the Liverpool Crystal Palace game and I will try to make as many videos as possible but please bear with me I'm I'm here for a week of visiting family and taking my girlfriend around Transylvania because we are, there are so many awesome places I will try to you know videotape some of the our experiences so stay tuned for that thanks for watching guys stay awesome See you later. Goodbye.